All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video with your boy, JT. May the most high bless you. I pray all is well with everybody. I want to talk about using your gift and forget about what other people think about you. Using your gift. Um, it's just amazing to me how the most high have blessed all of us with some type of gift. And we know that all gifts come from above, as the Bible teaches us. But we also know it don't matter what your gift is, um, you'll find yourself having a lot of haters. A lot of people wish they could do what you do, but they can't do it. So they find ways to hate on you, to try to destroy you. They doing their job, so don't get mad at that. Let the haters hate. If anything, haters should keep you on your feet. But um, a question was brought to me about um, comedians um, by you, Sister Taylor. Um, good question about how some use you know, being a comedian or actors. Um, like I say, we all are blessed, you know, in different ways. Some people are very gifted. I'm not going to talk about talents in this video because it's a difference between talent, being talented, talented, excuse me, and having a gift. Uh, because gift, nobody can give you a gift but the most high. You can be talented in things, but your gift is what comes from above. And once you understand what your gift is, you operate in it. And the Bible says that your, your gift makes room for you. Now, most people take that scripture and go backwards with it and try to make room for their gift. And that's why they never get nowhere in life. Um, as a, as a musician, I am always getting down by religious people on what I do because I, I don't just play in the church. And this is something I want to say in this video. The most time didn't just give gifts for, well, you got to be a preacher or a singer or a director or a musician in the church. That's it. You know, if, if, if that ain't what you're doing, you know, you ain't going to make it. What kind of world would this be if we didn't have people to make us laugh? Now, I understand people that do that do uh, comedy got foul mouths, but the same one that's singing in church every Sunday got foul mouths too. Preachers got foul mouths. So you can miss me with all this religious talk about who got a bad mouth, who's cussing and saying dirty things because half of the people in the church are more than half or just as dirty as the people that they talking bad about. My point is when the Most High gives gifts, the Most High is not an Indian giver. The most high give gifts without repentance. That's why we have free will. Now, let's just look at this. Some people can cook. That's what they was gifted with. And here's the thing about gifts. You don't even have to go to school, really, to see what your gift is, to know what your gift is. I always say man could help bring your gift out, but you are already gifted by the most high. And it's hard to top a gift from the most high. I don't know nobody that can top that gift. I get this question a lot about musicians. Half of the musicians I know that's so cold and can play didn't go to nobody's school. The majority of the preachers and pastors that I know didn't go to nobody's seminary school. Am I saying that to take away from seminary school? No. I'm saying it's on both sides. You got people that can go to school, that can preach and teach. You got people that go to school, that can play, sing, whatever they go to school for. But then you got people that didn't go to no school at all, and they are just awesome with their gift. Because once again, man does not give you a gift. Now, you got people that's good with their hands. You got mechanics. You got construction workers. I mean, everybody has a gift that's different. Now, sister, you asked me a good question about the comedians. Now, let's just take somebody like, let me see, Eddie Griffin, who you say, he well, his mouth is very foul. Okay. Say they decide to take away comic comedians acting and making people laugh. Okay. Now, let me flip that question. You're a school teacher. Now, what if they decide to take away what you gifted in, which is being good with kids, and they tell you you can no longer work with kids? How are you going to make a living? Hmm. My point is, while you down 
others with what they're doing with their gift? What if somebody decide to come take away what you do? And I'm not wishing that on nobody. I, I love comics. I love different styles of music. I love people in general. I don't have I have no problem with color. When I look at a gift, it don't have no color on it. People are gifted. I mean, that's just it. I know white people that can sing. I know black people that can sing. I know Koreans, Chinese. I mean, whatever it is, I mean, we got to get past color. You know, I know a lot of people say, well, if you ain't black, you ain't got no soul in you. Is that really true or is that an old saying? You know, so when you start looking at operating and using your gift, you do what the most high bless you with. And here's the other problem. People try to make themselves have something that they wasn't blessed with. If you wasn't gifted to sing, you just wasn't gifted with it. I don't care how you keep trying to make yourself be like such and such that you trying to be like. If it wasn't put in you, it wasn't put in you. You got people that's trying to be singers when they should be doing something else. You got people that's trying to preach when they should be doing something else. You got, excuse me, musicians trying to play when they wasn't called to be musicians. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just keeping it real. Too many people are jumping off into something that they just wasn't blessed with. And they sitting up wondering why it's not going right or why it seemed like the more I do it, the more I just can't do it. Once you know, once again, what your gift is, you operate in it. I look at my little brother, little JT, for an example. The most I blessed little JT so much. And sometimes it's so amazing that I just have to sit back and look at my little brother because he can jump on the drum set. He can jump on the lead guitar. He can jump on the bass guitar. He can jump on the piano. Y'all see him on her all the time. And I'm not just, you know, I'm not bragging on him because he's my little brother. I'm just using him for an example. Him and a lot of other cats I know, they can jump on any instrument in the room. He could even pick up a saxophone if he need to. And I'm just using that as an example on how sometimes I wish I could play. You know, a lot of that. Now, I'm gifted with drawing and, 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 and a little bit of the bass, but but I know where I'm supposed to be. As Big Brother Miniman would say, stay in your lane. I was blessed with, I was blessed, excuse me, with the piano. I don't have no business going in the corner trying to tell my boy, let me see the saxophone, and I'm going to play the saxophone just like him. It just wasn't for me. Just like you giving me a mic and telling me to sing like Fred Hammond, sing like Marvin Sapp, sing like this president. No, I have to do what the Most High have blessed me with. That's why so many people can't sing because they trying to mimic and sing and do runs like somebody else. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get that note. I'm going to be like, and they never really find out who they are. See, it's a lot of people who are off into things that they shouldn't have no business being in. They know it. But they good at it. And that's the problem with most of these churches and these pastors now. Just because somebody can play or sing, they automatically put them in their church and put them over their choir. Or if they can sing and preach, hoop and holler, they put them in the pulpit. And next thing you know, you got more and more mess in the house of the Most High. Gifts go a long way. And here's another thing. Your gift ain't for after you die. Mm. So if you're not doing nothing with your gift right now, I don't know what to tell you because news flash, you're not going to be in this no more. When you get into a glorified body, spiritual body, look at that kind of, look at that body alone. That's beautiful. It's flawless. It's perfect. You won't even age. You won't even get sick. So if you're not doing nothing with your gift right now, I don't know what to tell you. Most people miss that about the Bible. Your gift is for right now while you on earth still breathing. Because once you take your last breath, I mean, some of us just going to be like the man that buried his, buried his talent in the ground. When you see the comedians or actors Though you don't agree with what a lot of people do, I understand your, you know what you're saying. But I'm also saying this again. Don't think because you in the church building, 
everybody is doing things right in the church building because the same ones that's 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 singing a lot of times and on your instruments is the same ones that hold around last night the same ones that's 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 getting high and the same ones that's getting drunk you know why you putting the label on the people in the world you might as well label the ones in the church while you at it when you look at how good people can sing it go way past the church building most people start out in the church then they you know they leave but man i know my daddy when i was growing up my daddy was very good at car detailing where he was able to open up his own business some people are good with with car business you know some people got the gift of their they mouth where they can talk they can sell things i mean you got to do what you got to do to survive, but make sure you're doing it legally. That's why I don't hate on what people do. I love when I see people making it in life and, and they use and they give whether people agree with it or not. The thing is, who are you? Who am I? I don't have no heaven nor lake of fire to put nobody in. So I'm, I'm just a messenger not the enforcer. So while people are spending all their time hating and worrying about somebody else's gift, you know what I'm going to keep doing? Operating in my gift. That's why the most I also blessed me to be a producer because I love music. A lot of people don't get it. It's the spirit behind music. Oh, well, brother, I don't agree with you singing that love song. Or, Who is the author of love? If you don't, if you don't like ballads, love ballads and old school and, and, and jazz that ain't hardly got no singing on it. That's you and your life. But don't try to dictate my life by your life. And don't get mad at me because I'm still going to listen at my old school, my R&B that I love. Things that ain't making me go out here and kill nobody nor try to get nobody pregnant on. I understand people, everybody's different, but stop trying to make people do what you do because that's your downfall. It's just like people that, that, that you know, always talking about, oh, this is a sin to, to drink. And you going to hell for taking a sip of that wine and, and you know God ain't pleased with that. That is your belief. That is your belief. I wish people would quit twisting up scriptures. The Bible say, don't get drunk. Little wine is good for the stomach. Your level of alcohol might be different than the next man. So if you see that man with a glass in his hand and he ain't no alcoholic, he ain't no drunk, he ain't stumbling, why are you judging him? When I go out, I'm going to have me something to drink. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to, I love to be at a, a, a nice restaurant with a live band playing. That's me. You can't take, you can't take that from me. And what does that make me do? Just enjoy my time while I'm chilling. That's why I love to see the bands. I love to hear the comedians. You even got um, gospel comedians. Um, that brother. Um, oh, man, forgive me for not knowing your name at the moment. But I got a chance to see him live. The one, the um, the pastor, the buddy that's, that that did the Bluebell, um, the Bluebell um, song. When he was preaching, um, I got a chance to see him live. And I must say, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. And he kept it clean. Was he cussing? No. He kept it clean, but he was so funny. And the whole room was just pretty much in tears because of what the Most High have blessed him with. And I told him, man, I can listen at him all day. The dude is funny. He's hilarious. And ain't nothing wrong with laughing, man. That's what's wrong with so many people. They not having fun in their life. They, they go to church too much. They churchy, churchy, churchy that they don't do nothing else in their life but church. So I'm just, you know, throwing all this out in this little real talk video because your gift does make room for you. Not make, not your, not make room for your gift. When you see people trying to make room for their gift, that show you how lost they are. They don't know what they supposed to be doing or they trying to be like somebody else, you know. So it's like once you know what your gift is, activate it, operate it.
operate in it, I should say. So many ways that people are, are, are gifted. That's why I say you can go from, from, from being creative to looking at how, like I was using an example of people that's in the catering business who are so good with cooking. It ain't, I'm going to say this again. Gifts is not just playing the piano, preaching, and singing. When you are gifted, you are gifted. If everybody was to be a, a, a preacher, this world would be jacked up for sure. If everybody was just to be a musician and it wasn't nothing else, man, it'd be messed up. If we all was made the same way, what kind of fun would we have? Because think about the jacked up people that's out here, especially religious people. What if we all had to be religious and not spiritual? I'd rather be dead. So that's my time, y'all. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.